Naya is no stranger to controversy. I mean, it's one of the worst airports in the world. It's, it's not surprising. Last January, there was this um, incident with Panlasang Pinoy who lost items in his bag, such as perfume, sunglasses, and chocolates. It wasn't clear whether the theft happened in another airport, but given Ia's history, yeah, it's, it likely happened here. And in last February, theft involving airport screeners. Last February, airport screeners were caught on camera stealing cash from a Thai passengers. It, well, made rounds on social media in Thailand. Embarrassing. Unfortunately, this is just one of the many incidents. And then for this month, another incident. Two different modus operandi. It's hard to tell whether this is new or old, but what's for sure is that these type of crimes continues to plague passengers. So what happened? The first incident involves two OFWs, one from Spain and from Hong Kong. Their bags stolen. Pinakita niya yung alahas niya. Tapos may push card din po siya na which is yung yung push card niya is may Louis Vuitton siya na yung bag. She's also wearing a bag na Michael Kors. Nagtiwala po ako na abroad po din siya. What's the modus operandi of the scammers? So they try to befriend you. Um, once they gain your trust, they will pretend to take care of your belongings. Say, you need to go to the toilet, you need to buy something at the shop. Okay, you can leave your bag here, I'll, I'll, have, I'll take care of it. Yeah, and when you return, boom, your bag is gone. It's shipped off to a hotel somewhere. Yeah. Um, the police investigated and caught the suspect, good. But I'm sure there are still many scammers left at the airport doing the same modus operandi. So guys, never trust a stranger. Keep your bags to yourself. Don't leave it with someone you just met at the airport. No. This second incident I am more concerned of. This involves check-in agents. So let me share the story of Mary Claire. According to Mary Claire, she was checking in for her flight Manila to Thailand last Thursday when she was told that she had an excess baggage of 12 kilos and the check-in agent was asking her to pay for 11,000 pesos. She then explained she didn't have that money, that she only had 5,000 pesos. And this is when the agent handed her her boarding pass with a tissue. Written on it is the agent's personal bank account asking her to pay for the excess baggage fee to their personal bank account instead of the airline's account. Um, the OFW, Mary Claire said, um, okay, um, uh, so I have to pay this online? Yep, through PNB, you have to do an online transfer. But then she was still allowed to go through immigration and at the boarding gate. At the boarding gate, the check-in agent approached her. Have you transferred the money? Which she hasn't. Um, at this point, she asked if she could only pay 2,000 pesos. The agent said, oh, I have to confirm that with the supervisor. I don't think the supervisor would agree. Um, they even threatened to offload her. But for some reason, eventually, she got into her flight. Yay. And thus, she posted this incident on Facebook. It has made rounds on social media. It's been reported in the news. Uh, this is the first time I heard this uh, modus operandi. Check-in agents. Grabe. This is like every quarter in the AIA, there's corruption. Trying to steal money from passengers. Being asked to pay for the excess baggage fee to the check-in check-in's personal bank account is obviously an act of fraud. Um, this is an attempt to extort money from the passenger. This happened in Terminal 2, Philippine Airlines flight. And I, I don't understand how it came to 11,000 pesos, I'm not sure, but I'm looking at the excess baggage fee charges for flights from Manila to Thailand, Bangkok, and, and it's stated here in the Philippine Airlines website that it would be the excess baggage charge from Manila to Bangkok per kilo is at $10 per kilo. So uh, Mary Claire was over for 12 kilos, so 12 times 10, $120. That's not 11,000. Were there other fees? How much were the fees? Extra, extra penalty because surely it wouldn't reach 5,000, right? 11,000 pesos for 12 kilos excess baggage. Is that reasonable? Huh. 
Tell me guys, I'm kind of confused. I have a feeling that the check-in agent was kind of exaggerating or uh, making it excessively expensive. I don't know, but I can't seem to get the 11,000 pesos. Tell me guys, shed some light on me. Well, according to Paul, they have temporarily put that agent in a preventive suspension and they are working with the agent, Macroasia, the agent's employer, and a service provider of NAIA to inform to enforce Paul's strict policies against any form of fraud or irregularities and to prevent any recurrence. Well, for us, like we can't control the people in Naia. If there are bad people there and the government is not doing enough, they will still be there as passengers. What we can do is make sure that you know how much baggage you are allowed to bring, the weight, the size, the quantity. Check your itinerary. Call your airline if you're unsure. Google it. You, if you know you're gonna bring plenty of things, well, go add prepaid baggage online. Some airlines even allow you to add prepaid baggage allowance up to four hours before your flight. So if you know you're bringing a lot of things, you're over your baggage allowance limit, do yourself a favor and add that prepaid baggage allowance. You don't wanna pay at the airport. It's gonna be very expensive. That's gonna ruin your travel budget and ruin your mood. <laughs> Wear your bags before you leave the airport. If you're a frequent flyer, you go, you travel every year, every two years, invest in a luggage scale. And if you're gonna be bringing a lot of things like pasalubong, shampoo, lotion, perfume, ilagay nyo na lang yun sa balik bayan box. Some kababayans do this two or three months before their arrival in the country. They pack their pasalubong in a balik bayan box. And what's great about the balik bayan box is that there is no maximum limit. As long as it fits in the box and the box can hold it, you're okay. Just be mindful of what's allowed and what's not allowed to put in the balik bayan box. Huh? Don't put too many electronic devices. Huh? And whatever extra you have to pay, Wherever, wherever, not just at the airport, <sighs> even at shops, always ask for receipts or documentation. If you're asked to pay an over baggage fee, ask for receipt and then, okay, pay for that amount. Um, I've read some comments on Mary Claire's Facebook post about her experience and some people are claiming they had the same experience. Oh, so this, I'm sure this is not the first incident. We're just... It's just a good thing that Mary Claire posted this publicly, thanks to social media. So yeah, guys, it's the modus operandi. Be mindful of your things, never trust a stranger, basic. <laughs> and watch out for your baggage. Weigh it before you go to the airport. So that's all the update for today. I hope the government does something about this. Like, Naia's, parang, it's a never ending bad story. Sick of it. I'm so sick of it. These never ending issues and controversies of theft and corruption in the EA, we're sick of it. Government, if you have to sack hundreds of people, I think you have to. They must be cleaned thoroughly, Talaga, thoroughly. That airport continues to embarrass us Filipinos.